Hi, and welcome to today's practice, which will take you all around your mat in a mandala flow. Come to stand at the top of your mat and bring your hands together at center. Draw your shoulders back, stand up nice and tall, and close your eyes. Begin to bring your awareness to your breath and start to place weight on your feet, noticing the shifting of the weight from side to side, from front to back, creating little movements here, very tiny movements. With your next inhale, lift the arms all the way up. As you exhale, fold forward, bring the hands to the floor and bend your knees. Begin to move your body side to side in any way that feels good for you today. You can move your head or pedal out your feet, bend one knee and then the other, or both at the same time, and then straighten both legs. Whatever you need, letting the breath flow in and out. Maybe some movements and waving up and down the spine. Bend your knees, soften, and slowly begin to rise. With your inhale, let the arms extend towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it back down through center and fold. Soften over your legs. Wave the spine along and decompress. Inhale and exhale. Wave the body side to side, creating movement, creating space. Good. Feel the movements, be free. Press into the earth, begin to rise with your exhale, and inhale the arms all the way up. Stretch out one arm and then the other, reaching up towards the sky with one hand and then the other hand as you create micro bends, side bends here, stretching out the sides of your body, grounding down into both feet equally. Bring hands together and bow down, folding forward. Once again, lengthen through the spine as you let your head release. Come halfway up, place your fingertips on your shins and draw your shoulders back. As you exhale, bow forward, bend your knees and soften. Inhale brings you halfway up, fingertips to shins, spine nice and long. Exhale, bow and soften, press into the earth. Inhale, halfway up, fingertips to shins. Exhale as you bow and soften, press into the earth. Step back into your downward facing dog, feet at hip distance, pedal out your feet, bend one knee and then the other, walking your feet in place and stretching out through the sides of your body. Maybe bend both knees and straighten both legs a few times. Then as you bend both knees, begin to turn your knees and feet to the right side. Straighten the right leg, but keep your left leg bent to create space and length through that right leg, pressing into the right foot and lifting the right hip. Come back through center, bend your knees, send the knees to the left, straighten the left leg as you keep the right leg bent. Once again, creating space and stretching out through your left leg. Come back to center, bend both knees, wave your body forward, high plank. And from there, rock it back and forth a couple of times, stretching out, and then send it back down dog. Bend your knees, press into the earth, wave forward, high plank, rock it back and forth, and then send it back down dog. Bend your knees, wave yourself forward, lengthening through the spine, plank, wave it back and forth, rocking, and send it back down dog. Good. Bend your knees, wave yourself forward, high plank. This time, bring the knees to the ground, continue to hug in through the front of your body, slowly lower down, Chaturanga. Press into the earth as you inhale, and with an exhale, lift up Cobra or Up Dog, whatever you're ready for today. Maybe peek over your right shoulder and your left shoulder a few times, creating more movement and a deeper stretch. Then send it back and take a child's pose. Let your body relax into it. Soften, forehead to the floor, creating movement here, moving your hips, and then take the right arm across to the left as you bring your right ear to the floor, stretching through the right shoulder, come back to center, send the left arm across, left ear to the floor, back to center, come to table, 
And as you come into table, tuck your toes and lift up, down dog. Bend your knees, lift the right leg up behind you, and inhale, straighten both legs away from each other. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, and exhale, step the right foot to the right thumb. Bend and soften through your back knee. Both knees are bent. Press down, begin to rise into a high lunge with both knees bent. Turn the palms towards each other and draw the shoulders back. Make fist and get lower as you exhale. And as you inhale, reach up and straighten the back leg. Exhale, bring it down. Make fist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back knee bends. Inhale, reach the arms up. Continue with those movements. Then lower, bend both knees and reach the arms up. Take the hands to the mat. Rock it a little bit here, forward and back. Maybe bend and straighten the back leg a few times, a little bouncing action to create more movement and uh, more heat into the muscle fibers. Right hand reaches up as the left hand stays on the floor. As you exhale, bend your back knee, take the left right arm, sweep it down and circle, inhale the arm up. Exhale, bend the back knee, circle the right arm, sweep it up, inhale. Exhale, circle the arm, bend your back knee. Inhale, reach and extend. Good, continue with those movements. Exhale and inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, inhale, reach the arm forward this time over your ear and continue to extend. Bring both hands to the mat, lengthen the spine and begin to walk yourself to the left side of your mat and spin all the way around so you're facing the back of your mat and your left knee is forward. Bend the right knee, lengthen, slowly begin to rise back to your high lunge. Inhale the arms up, palms in. Exhale, make fist and lower. Inhale, straighten the back leg, arms up. Exhale, make fist, bring it down. Continue with that, inhaling up and exhaling down. Good, continue to breathe here nice and steady. Good. One more, then reach the arms up and bring the hands to the floor. A little bobbing up and down here, reaching, lifting the back knee and lowering it a few times, finding your own movements. Keep the right hand on the floor, turn to the left, reach the left arm up and begin to circle, lifting and straightening and bending the back knee. Circle back, sweep down and inhale up. Continue with those movements and follow your own breath, reaching, expanding, bending, and lowering. Good. Continue to move here. And then bring both hands to the mat. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Step back. Downward facing dog. Bend knees. Maybe pedal it out, bending one knee and then the other, or whatever feels good. Then bend both knees. Wave forward, high plank. Knees to the ground. Point the toes back. Hug the belly in and up and lower all the way down to the earth. Press down with your inhale. Exhale, zip up, cobra or up dog. Inhale at the top. And exhale, send it back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees and begin to send the right leg up behind you. Yes, the right leg again. Bring the knee in towards your nose and core plank. Step the right foot to the right thumb. Bend the back knee and soften. Begin to rise. Coming into a high lunge with both knees bent. Exhale, make fist, bring it down. Inhale, lift and extend. Exhale, make fist, bring it down. Inhale, reach. Good. Exhale, bring it down. Bend the back knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. One more. Bring it down. Keep the knees bent. Only the arms reach up. Take the hands to the mat. Start to bend and straighten the back leg a little bit, creating that inner heat. Engaging those deep core muscles. Left hand stays on the floor. Bend the back knee and twist to the right. Right arm reaches. Work on circling that right arm, sweeping it up and back and down, softening through the shoulder, lifting and bending the back knee. Continue to move there at your own speed. Follow your breath. Both hands on the floor. Inhale. Walk yourself all the way to the front of your mat. So now your left leg is forward. Left knee over left ankle. Bend both knees. Lengthen the spine. Begin to rise. 
Reach the arms all the way up as you inhale, make fists, get lower. Inhale, arms up, back leg straightens. Exhale, lower. Good. Continue there. Inhale and exhale. Follow your own breathing. Continue to move. One more. Bring it down. Beat, bend both knees. Only the arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Bend and straighten the back leg a couple times. Keep your right hand on the floor, twist to the left, left arm reaches. Begin to circle that arm as you bend and straighten through the back leg. Good. Continue to move here, straightening and bending and circling. Bring both hands to the mat. Inhale. Step back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Wave your body forward and take a high plank. Inhale, bring the knees to the ground and slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Press down, inhale and exhale, cobra or up dog. Draw the shoulders back, inhale with your exhale, down dog. Take a full deep breath and let it go. Make sure that your feet are at hip distance hands at shoulder distance. Bend and straighten the legs a few times. Bend your knees, send the left leg up this time, reach it high, inhale. Bend everything, the knee comes in, lift the hips and step the left foot through. Bend the back knee, soften, inhale and exhale, slowly begin to rise into that high lunge, inhale the arms up. Exhale, fist to fire, arms down, bend the back leg, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fist to fire. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fist to fire. Good. Inhale, reach up. Bring it down. Exhale. Inhale, last one. Exhale, bring it down. Both knees bent. Inhale, the arms up. Maybe work on straightening the back leg a little bit more. Then bring the hands to the floor. Bend the back knee. Right hand on the floor. Twist to the left and begin to circle. Sweeping the arm back down and up as you bend and straighten your back leg, creating heat, creating energy. Good. Extend the arm forward over your ear, reaching and opening up as if you were twisting towards the ceiling. Take both hands to the mat, inhale, bend and straighten the back leg a few times. Walk towards the right side of your mat and all the way to the back, Bend the right knee. Now your right knee is forward. Bend the back knee and soften. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale. Adjust. Slowly begin to rise. Reach the arms up. Come into high lunge. Fist of fire. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Fist of fire. Continue with those movements. Remember to bend and straighten the back leg as you move as well to continue to create that heat and more work for your internal muscles. Reach the arms up. Bring the hands to the mat. Begin to bob up and down a few times to stretch out, always creating movement and motion. I move a lot in my practice. Keep your left hand down, reach up with the right arm as you turn and begin to circle. Circling your right arm from the shoulder. Remember to bend your elbow as you circle to create a more natural movement of the arm, not so linear. Continue with that about five times or so, circling, and then bring both hands to the floor. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, take a step back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, wave your body forward, high plank. Knees to the ground. Hug the navel in and up and slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Press down with your inhale. Exhale, cobra or up dog, and inhale. Exhale, send it back to your down dog. Good. Lengthen and wave the spine long. Bend your knees. Lift the left leg up. Reach it nice and high as you inhale. And with your exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose. Lift the hips up as high as possible. Step the left foot to the left thumb. Soften. Bend your back knee. Begin to rise into your high lunge. Arms reach up, inhale, exhale, fist to fire. Good, continue, inhale, back leg straightens and bends as you move your arms up and down a few times. Good, inhale, reach up, 
fist to fire with your exhale inhale the arms reach straighten the back leg a little bit or a lot and bring the hands to the floor bend and straighten the back leg little bouncing action Right hand stays on the ground as you turn to the left and reach the left arm up. Begin to circle your arms, sweeping back and down, bending and straightening the back leg as you circle. Notice how the movements feel. And if you need to stop at any time, feel free to stop and just hang out there in your twist if that feels better for you. Bring both hands to the floor. Inhale. Rock it back and forth and begin to walk yourself all the way back to the front of your mat. Bend your back knee and soften. Press down, inhale. Exhale, begin to slowly rise, hugging in through the front line of your body and then reach the arms up. And create more power by making those fists and bringing them down, inhaling to reach up. Exhale, fist to fire, bend your back knee. Good, continue with your movements here, nice and steady, creating strength and power. And next time, inhale the arms up and bring the hands to the mat. Good. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Left hand stays on the ground as you reach up through the right arm and begin to circle in your side lunge or twisted low lunge here. Reaching, expanding, circling, and lowering. Good. Keep those movements going. Keep the momentum going. I know it gets a little tiring for the legs, but that's how you build more strength. Bring the hands to the floor. Inhale. Step back, downward facing dog, bend knees, elbows, wave your body long and come into your high plank, knees down, diagonal chaturanga as you slowly bend your elbows and with control lower to the earth. Shoulder stay lifted at the same level as your elbows, up dog or cobra, and send it back to your down dog. Come down into child's pose for a few breaths. And let your body relax and soften. Feel free to have your forehead on the floor or on your hands or arms, whatever you need. Let your hips relax, soften into it. Begin to come up, extend the arms forward, and slowly make your way back to your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, stretch it out in any way that feels good. And send the right leg up behind you, reach it up high, extend all the way up, pressing against the floor. Bring your knee in, step the right foot to the right thumb. Bring the left heel to the ground, back toes and back knee face the same way. Right hand to the inside of the right foot. Press down, begin to lift into a warrior one. Extend the arms up as you turn the shoulders towards the front of your mat. Interlace the hands behind you and take a humble warrior as you exhale. Press into the earth and rise back up. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward over or inside the right leg. Inhale to rise back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, fold. This time, hold it. Feel free to have the hands on the floor if needed. And then bring both hands down. Lengthen and walk yourself all the way to the edge of the mat towards the left edge. Begin to bend one knee and then the other a few times, stretching out. The feet are still facing the same way, so the front foot is still facing forward. Bend the front knee, begin to rise, extend the arms up, bring the hands through center, open out into a warrior two. Right knee bends over the ankle, left hand to the hip, sweep the right arm back, take a reverse warrior, slide the left hand down the leg. Right elbow to the leg, sweep the left arm forward, coming into a side angle. Bring both hands to the front of your mat, Turn the back foot, rock it back and forth, straightening and bending both knees this time. Feel free to have your hands on blocks if you like. 
Good. And then once again, walk to the left edge and then all the way to the back of your mat. Left knee over left ankle. Bring the right heel to the ground. Left hand to the inside of the left foot to help track the knee out towards the pinky. And begin to slowly rise, warrior one. Rotate the rib cage and shoulders forward. Take the arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Exhale, fold forward. Press into the earth and rise with your inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to rise back up. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale to rise back up. Next, exhale, fold and hang out there. Reaching the arms up overhead. And then take the hands to the floor. Walk yourself to the edge of the mat. Feet stay facing as they were. Straighten and bend the knees, taking turns. Left foot face, faces forward and right is turned at a slight angle. Come to center. Bend the front knee over your ankle. Slowly begin to rise. The arms reach up. Bring the hands through center. And open your arms out into a warrior two. Front knee bends. Left hand sweeps around as you take the right hand to the hip, circling back into a reverse warrior. Take your left elbow to the leg, sweep the right arm down and forward, reaching into your side angle. Bring both hands back to the front of your mat. Turn the back foot and straighten and bend both legs a few times, stretching out in any way here as far as it, you can go. Doesn't matter if the legs are completely straight, as long as you're working towards straightening them. Come back to lunge and step back, downward facing dog. Bend knees, elbows, push forward, high plank, inhale, knees down, point the toes and slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Ground down into the earth and roll up from the navel coming into an up dog or cobra. Send it back, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths there, realigning yourself, checking in with yourself, with how you feel right now. Bend your knees, send your left leg up behind you, reach it high, inhale, bring your knee in, and step the foot through. Bring the back heel to the ground, lengthen the spine, and walk your hand to the inside of the foot. Lengthen, begin to rise, Rotate the ribcage forward, palms face each other. Take your arms behind you, interlacing the fingers. Wave forward, folding over your leg, and inhale to rise up. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, humble warrior. Rise back up with your inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Good. Inhale. And last one, bring it down into that humble warrior, arms extend, take the hands to the floor, lengthen the spine, walk yourself to the edge of the mat, remember to keep the feet in place as you start to straighten and bend the knees. Pedaling out and ninja lunges here. Come back to your center, even out your hips, bend the front knee, start to rise, let the arms reach up, hands to center, open out, warrior two. Right hand to the hip, sweep the left arm back, take a reverse warrior. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, take your left elbow to the leg as you sweep the right arm, extending into the fingertips, spin the ribs open. Bring the hands to the mat, turn the back foot, inhale. Exhale, rock back and forth a few times, straightening and bending your knees as you do that. Stretching through the hamstrings, which sometimes don't want to be stretched too much, right? And then walk it all the way to the front of your mat. Now your right knee is forward. Back heel comes down, right hand to the inside of your foot. Slowly come up, arms reach, warrior one. Be a strong warrior, take your arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Exhale, fold forward, press into the earth, inhale to rise. Exhale, fold forward, come back up with your inhale, fold with your exhale, 
moving with your breath. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Good. Inhale to rise. Exhale, to Good. Inhale, to rise. Exhale last one, fold. Hang out there for full breath. Bring the hands to the floor. Walk yourself all the way to the edge of the mat. Remember to keep your feet as they are as you bend and straighten your legs one at a time, stretching out. Press down into the fingertips, begin to slowly rise, inhale the arms up, bring the hands through center and open out warrior two. Continue to bend the front knee over your ankle, take your back hand, your left hand to the hip and extend the right arm as you take a reverse warrior. Right elbow to the leg, sweep the left Left arm forward, side angle. Bring both hands to the front of your mat. Turn the back foot, low lunge. Begin to bend and straighten both legs a few times, rocking back and forth. Notice how the movements feel, if they start to get easier or if they're just as hard. And then step back, down dog. But notice without judgment, just notice. Bend your knees, wave yourself forward, high plank. Bring the knees to the ground, draw the shoulders back and slowly start to lower down to the earth. Press down with your inhale, exhale, zip up, cobra or up dog, inhale, exhale, send it back to your down dog. Come into child's pose and take a break. Give yourself some time to breathe, to be here, to relax your body. And to let go, it's always nice to slow down, to check in with your breath, to check in with how you're feeling without continuously going. Make your way back up into your downward facing dog. Take your right leg up, spin the right hip open, take a three legged dog, stack your right hip over your left, and then bring your knee in towards your nose. Bring the right knee towards the right wrist, shin on the ground as you prepare for pigeon. Feel free to place a block underneath your right hip or a blanket or a pillow, anything you may have. Slide your left leg back, press into the earth, and begin to slowly fold forward. You can come to your forearms, elbows, or you can come all the way down if you feel comfortable, maybe resting your forehead on the floor or on something, whether it's your arms, block, blanket. Your back knee, if it bothers you, you can always tuck the back toes under to alleviate some of that pressure on the knee, or you can place a blanket on, under the knee. Begin to walk yourself back. Take your left forearm across the mat, right hand to the thigh, hook the thumb in the inner crease of the leg and press it, rolling it out. Good. And then bend your back knee, and if you like, reach the right arm for the left foot if that's available to you. Don't force it. If it doesn't happen, don't worry about it. See where you can go today. Continue to spin open towards the right side. Release, hands to the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift up back to your down dog. Bend your knees, begin to send the left leg up. Spin the left hip open, three-legged dog, stacking your left hip over your right. Bend your knee, bring your knee in towards the nose and send the knee to the outer left wrist, shin across the mat. Slide your right leg back. Make sure it's directly behind your hip as you do that. Lengthen the spine, press into the fingertips. As you exhale, begin to walk yourself forward. And once again, you can keep your elbows on the floor or come all the way down, bringing your forehead to the floor or resting it on something if you like, whether it's a block, blanket, pillow, on your arms. Even out through both hips so that you are not leaning more to one side or the other, which is very common and it may be happening to you without you even realizing it's happening. I see that a lot in my classes. 
So really try to send that uh, left hip back a little bit more and the right hip forward a little bit more and find that balance. Begin to walk yourself up. Right hand and forearm come to the mat. Left hand to your left thigh as you roll the thigh open and twist to your left. If you like to bend the right knee and reach for the right foot with your left hand, go ahead and do that, spinning the ribs open and stacking your shoulders as best as you can. They're not going to be probably completely stacked, mine aren't, but just the best that you can do today. Release, walk your hands back, tuck the toes, lift the right knee off the ground, and slide back into a down dog. Pedal out your feet, bend one knee and then the other. Now bring your knees to the ground, come to your table, and send the hips back, sitting on your heels. Sit up tall, reach your arms forward, cross the right over the left, and take eagle arms. Exhale, fold forward, and inhale, roll up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep that eagle wrap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lift. And once more, fold with your exhale and come up with your inhale. Uncross and switch sides. Inhale to lift the elbows. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, roll up through the front body. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, roll it up through the front body. Fold with your exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. On cross. Swing the legs around. Extend them forward. Sit up tall, lengthen through your spine, draw the shoulders back, sitting up in Dandasana, Staff Pose. Reach your arms all the way up as you inhale. Extend into the fingertips, palms towards each other. Continue to lengthen, open up through the shoulders, rotate the pinky fingers in. With your next exhale, fold at your hips and reach towards the feet, ankles, shins, yoga strap, whatever you need. Inhale, lengthen, wave the spine long, and exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, wave the spine long. Exhale, fold. Wave the spine long with your inhale, and as you exhale, fold. Good. Let yourself release into that forward fold, and if you like, feel free to have a block or a bolster underneath your forehead, over your legs, so that your forehead can be supported. You can also move your head side to side a few times if that feels good. Slowly come back up. Bring your left knee in, uh, your left foot in towards the right inner thigh and reach your arms up. Fold over your right leg and once again reach for your foot your ankle, shin, or use a strap. Let your elbows bend out to the sides and follow the flow of your breath a few times as you let yourself fold as deeply as your body allows. Whatever that is for you today. Take hold of the outside of your right foot with your left hand and place your right hand by your right hip as you add a little bit more of a twist to your pose. Slowly come back up. Now you can keep your leg as it is or you can cross the left ankle over your right leg and wrap your left arm around your back as you grab onto your foot and then extend the right arm forward and grab onto the right foot or strap. Add a little twist to your right side. Remember what I said, you can keep the foot, the left foot on the floor and still add the twist. 
without grabbing onto the foot. So that is your choice, your option, and it's your body so you know what you can do and what you're ready for today. Gently release and bring yourself back to your center. Extend the legs forward. Bend your right leg, bring the right foot to the left inner thigh. Rotate towards your extended leg, arms reach up, fold from your hips, grab onto the foot, ankle, shin, you know, the drill, whatever you can grab onto using any props you need. Wave it up and down the spine and take it a little deeper into that forward fold. If you like to keep your knees slightly bent, you can do that as well. Take your right hand to the outside of the left foot or leg and left hand to the floor as you turn slightly towards your left side. Come back up to center. Take your right ankle over your left leg if you like or keep the foot on the floor. Right arm wraps around your back, reaching for your right foot and left hand reaches for your left foot. Turning slightly or a little bit more than slightly towards your right side. Elbow straight or bend, softening stacking your shoulders lengthening all the way to the crown good keep your breath going that deep belly breath Slowly begin to come back up. Extend both legs forward. Sit up tall. Bend both knees and bring the feet together, bottoms of the feet together in bound ankle pose. Grab onto your ankles, lengthen the spine. Then reach the arms forward, interlace the fingers, extend the arms towards the ceiling and reach forward, inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach the arms forward, extending over the legs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it forward, extending the arms. Reach up as you inhale. Exhale, bring it forward. Reach up as you inhale. Exhale, bring it forward. Reach up, inhale. Exhale forward, take the hands to the floor, press into the floor and slowly wave your spine long and start to fold. Go as deep as you can, even if it's very little right now, that's fine, you gotta start somewhere. If you can go a little deeper, feel free to take your elbows to the floor, or at least to soften and bend your elbows, even if they don't come all the way down. Come back up. Hands to legs, bring your knees in, place the feet on the ground, and rock the knees side to side a few times, stretching out through the hips, through the sides of your legs. Come to lay on your back, feet on the mat, knees bent. Let your back settle into the earth, windshield wiper your knees. Let go of the work that you've done today. Come back to your breath, hug the right leg in, extend the left leg out in front of you. Circle your right knee one way a few times, and then the other way a few times. Take your left hand to the right knee, 
and bring the leg across the body as you extend the right arm out or up, turning your gaze towards the right side. Soften into the twist, relaxing the shoulder, especially that right shoulder down towards the floor, and softening, letting go. Bring it back to center, hug your knee in. Then bring your left knee in. Extend the right leg out in front of you. Begin to circle your left knee one way a few times. And then reverse, circling your leg the other way. Right hand to your knee. Bring the leg across to your right side as you extend the left arm. Relaxing the left shoulder towards the floor, turning your gaze towards the left as well. Notice if you're holding on to tension anywhere in your body and let it all go right now in this moment. Bring it back to center, hug your knee in, bring both legs in towards you. Give yourself a big hug and rock the legs and the hips side to side a few times. Bring the right foot in towards you and the left foot to the mat. Keep your right knee bent as you reach for your foot, ankle, or back of the knee in a half happy baby. Continue to ground down into your left hip. Release the foot to the floor. Take a moment. See how both sides feel. Let yourself rest there. Hug your left leg in. Keep the right foot on the floor with your knee bent. Grab on to the left foot, ankle, back of the knee. Right hip settles down as you take a half happy baby on the left side. And be aware of how one side felt and how the other side feels. Just to notice, paying attention to what's going on in your body and how both sides can be different. Release the foot to the floor, even out your hips. Reach your arms back, extend the legs forward, grab onto the right wrist and walk your feet and shoulders to your left side as you cross the right ankle over the left, stretching through the right side of your body. Make sure both hips stay down on the floor. Make your way back to center and grab onto the left wrist, cross the left ankle over the right, and walk the feet and shoulders to the right as you stretch through the left side once again, make sure that both hips stay on the ground. Come back to center. Extend your entire body, stretching out through fingers, toes, and let it go as you settle into Shavasana. Let your eyes close. Let your entire body relax, feeling the ground beneath you. Feet and hands roll open. Follow your breath as it enters and exits your body. Let go of any control over the breath as you let it flow naturally. But keep your awareness on the breath to help you let go of your thoughts. Remain here as long as you like, as long as time permits. 
I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.